Welcome to Monarch Training. Today we're going to talk about a couple tips on the CrossFit Open Workout 17.1. 17.1 is the first workout of the 2017 CrossFit Open. As quick as possible, the athlete will complete 10 dumbbell snatches, 15 burpee box jump overs, 20 dumbbell snatches, then 15 burpee box jump overs, 30 dumbbell snatches, 15 burpee box jump overs, 40 dumbbell snatches, 15 burpee box jump overs, 50 dumbbell snatches, 15 burpee box jumps, jump overs. Uh, the RX weight is 50 pounds for men, 35 for women, and then for the box jumps, uh, it's 24 inches for men, 20 inches for women. A couple quick standards to keep in mind. On the single arm dumbbell snatches, you cannot assist with the opposite arm. So what that means is you can't put your hand on your knee. You also can't touch the dumbbell with the other hand. Um, but you can switch in midair on the way down. The rep is com throughout the rep. You cannot use the other arm, but the rep is completed at the top. So on the way down, you can alternate so you can cycle it faster. On the burpee box jump overs, uh, you have to put a line on the ground to make sure that you're doing uh, facing to the box. Now with that, at the bottom of the burpee is when your feet have to be on the side of that line. So throughout the rest of the movement, it doesn't have to. So if you watch, um, Sam Briggs did a really good job of slowly transitioning, uh, slowly turning throughout the movement. Uh, instead of trying to jump onto the box and do one big kind of twirl around as you're coming down. So a couple quick movement tips uh, to make this more efficient. Whenever we're doing a workout, we always want to focus on making each individual rep as efficient as possible because that adds up. Every movement as we go has a cost and we only have a certain amount that we can pay out in terms of energy output. So if we make each rep less tiring, we'll be less tired <laughs> as we go through it so we can move at a faster rate. We won't have to rest. With that being said, for the dumbbell snatches, uh, focus on making sure you're using your legs and not just pulling with your arms. We want to use our legs as much as possible. The motion we'll go through with our arm is kind of similar to pulling a lawnmower, uh, but we don't want to be using entirely our arms. We're going to jump the weight up with our legs and just pull the weight into place. And as we do that, you could think about kind of zipping up a hoodie or something. So our the elbow will come up high and we'll continue through and making sure we're pulling that dumbbell straight above our shoulder so that it's stacked, right? So we got our bicep next to our ear. Other thing to keep in mind, this is a little bit lower. As you're tired, you might kind of want to set up in a bad position where your back is all rounded. We're not gonna get as much energy out of our legs. We're gonna be using our arms a lot more, which will be really add up how tiring it is. On the burpee box jump over, a couple tips for that. When we do the burpee, we still wanna do the burpee properly. So what I mean by that is we don't wanna squat. We wanna be efficient about it. We have a video on our channel about how to do burpees without the box jumps overs uh, more efficiently. This still all applies on the burpee box jump over now we want to keep our hips up high put it all into our hips uh, kind of in the same way you would do for a kettlebell swing if we're doing that extra movement with our hips moving up and down in a squat that's gonna really add up over the course of this workout now with that being said when we hop up from the burpee uh, if we're able to get into that jump position where our hips are already down slightly and go right into the jump that's awesome uh, what a lot of people will do uh, seems to work well kind of move through it a little smoother is kind of step up where they hop up one foot uh, Kind of further than the other to set themselves up to go into a step uh, Jump onto the box now another thing to keep in mind is We don't have to come fully locked out on top of the box, so we don't need to waste time up there We can kind of hop through it overall tips for this workout this is four times, so we want to get it done as fast as we can. So we're going to want to pace it, but don't be afraid to kind of shell out towards the end there. Try Really try to speed up. You can lay on the ground as much as you want once you're done. Uh, once we get to those that later round, as you're on those 50 dumbbell snatches or the, the last round of those burpee box jump overs, just go. Um, it might suck, but that'll give you the best score possible. 
with thousands of people across the world doing this workout every second might equate to a couple thousand places if you're kind of in the middle of the pack you get two seconds faster that might be 10,000 people you just passed highly suggest really focus on pacing it and keeping moving kind of as if we're jogging consistent pace throughout without really stopping if you need to if you were running and you needed to stop you would just walk you wouldn't just straight up stop so if you need to rest try to make it real quick and kind of slow down the reps a little bit on the dumbbell snatches don't slow down the individual rep because then you're just going to end up using your arms more if you need to rest kind of uh, slow down your cycle time so you do a rep lower it back to the ground switch hands instead of switching in midair and kind of touch and going it on the burpee box jumps overs if you need to rest don't rest while you're standing up rest at each kind of individual part of it so resting on a burpee you could just be laying on the ground best of luck to all of you who are doing 17.1 this weekend